What's going on everybody? Brandon here and I am back with another video. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 from Hasbro. This is the Galactic 2-in-1 spaceship. I am very curious and interested to see how this works. We've got a 4-inch scale rocket raccoon and a spaceship and a gun. Kind of looks like Star-Lord's gun, so that is interesting. Got this one at Target for $33. I'm really hoping <laughs> that this is worth it here's everything we get on the back looks like there's a removable escape pod we do get our rocket raccoon when you put everything together with the disc it looks like a gun so there is a lot going on here the upc if you need it all right we are going to get this galactic spaceship out of the packaging and take a closer look stay tuned straight out of the packaging here's everything we get for a galactic spaceship there is a lot of parts and pieces. So let's take some time, put this thing together and see what we come up with. All right, you guys, we got our galactic spaceship built and it actually looks pretty cool. There is definitely gotta be something regarding this vehicle in the film, we can see this box art here um, and really on the packaging for everything, this is included. So this vehicle's definitely gotta be in the film from the front at an angle, here it is. Then a center from the front, there we go. The only thing I don't like is this gun handle is just kinda obvious, I wish it would fold in. Side profile of the vehicle does look pretty cool. And from the back or the inside, this looks like a very, Cool play set. I really dig that a lot. That is awesome. And we have exhaust systems here. And um, it's just really cool. Uh, you can't plug anything in there. No flame, fire, or fuel. Uh, this does come out. And this is the escape pod for Rocket. And it's just kind of difficult to get out, but you can. And there it is. This is the escape pod flaps up and there's not really a seat or anything in there just some handles and we can take our rocket raccoon figure and put him in there and he can grab the handles a little difficult for him he does have tiny hands but it does work and uh yeah there's rocket taking off fleeing the scene so we got some very cool features here. The most basic one is, of course, that you can put a missile in there and fire that missile. Um, the other thing that you can do is store these missiles. And the rings, I found out, they actually do quite a bit. So you could store your missiles in here like this. And let me see. There is a way to get this to fit. Let me try it like this. Yeah. There we go. So that is pretty cool. So you can store your missiles just like this. And that is rather difficult. Yeah, there you go. Definitely a uh, difficult build with a lot of pieces. Uh, if you're a kid, <laughs> you will need some help from your parents. Um, and I've also found out that there are uh, pegs for your action figure. There are a set of pegs here, 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 and on the top as well, three more sets of pegs. So you could put your figure in there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So Rocky can be in there while you fly the ship. That is pretty sweet. Same thing up here. You could put Rocket up here on the pegs, and uh, yeah, it fits nice and easy and that is pretty sweet so all in all a very cool vehicle i think they blew spin master out of the water with all the things that this can do using the peg holes this definitely makes me feel like we have a play set here and not just a vehicle or a gun so this is really like a three for one here and i really like it Next, taking a look at our Rocket Raccoon figure. This is for the four inch epic scale. He does look pretty awesome. I gotta say, I like this figure a lot. He's got a lot of articulation. I just wish he came with some guns. Moving in the head, side to side. Arms come out about that far forward 
uh, an almost back full 360 hindered on this side with a shoulder pad not on the other we have a bend and twist at the elbow nothing in the wrist nothing in the waist legs come out about that far they go out they go back a little bit there's wow okay there's a bend at the knee and a twist i thought it was a boot cut articulation but uh, i was mistaken wow so that is a bend at the knee very cool and then his tail has articulation as well full 360 on the tail so very cool if you're trying to complete your guardians collection you are definitely going to need the galactic vehicle and you're going to need this rocket raccoon all right, for a size comparison, here is our Galactic Spaceship with the Hawkman Cruiser and the Batwing from Spin Master. And I gotta say, Hasbro has absolutely crushed it. If I was a kid, I would definitely pick the Galactic Spaceship from Guardians over these other two vehicles. The Batwing looks really sick, but it's not a playset. It doesn't shoot any missiles, and uh, it is lacking in those areas, so... There's a nice simple comparison and they're all around the same, I guess, scale you could say and about the same price point. For a quick comparison with the other Guardians, here is our brand new Rocket Raccoon. He looks fantastic. I gotta say, I am really liking the size and the scale for these figures. They look great together. All right, you guys, that about does it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we have the Galactic 2-in-1 Spaceship from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 from Hasbro. A really cool piece. Target, 33 bucks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this a pickup or a pass for you? Is it too weird to get behind? Uh, if you're a parent, your kids will definitely love this. Help them build it. Don't lose the pieces. An awesome piece. I gotta say, I really like this one a lot. I was very, very surprised. Uh, you guys, the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, it's been phenomenal. Thank you for the viewership and thank you for all of the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep it right here at my channel as I find more new cool and awesome stuff. I'll be sure to bring it to you here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.